Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to BVTV. This is, of course, State Champions Week. We're at semi-final stage of the Women's Champion of Champion Singles. We have a cracker match today. Cass Millerick from the Moama Bowls Club representing Bendigo Capacity Goldfields. She's up against Kelly McKeeran from Clayton Bowls Club representing the Sandbelt region. My name's Tony Shewell. Very happy to bring you the coverage of today's match. Joining me in commentary is none other than Pat Schramm, Bowls Victoria President. Afternoon, Pat. Afternoon, Tom. Thanks for having me. Oh, tell you what, thanks for having bowls like this on. This is end one. We're just starting. Players have had to wait because Cass Millerick is such a good player. She qualified through in the pairs as well. So her and Liv Cartwright have had two wins today in the pairs and she's straight back out onto the green here now for this semi-final of the Champion of Champions women's singles. And what glorious weather we have for it. Yeah, it's picture perfect here in sunny Bendigo. Cash just asking a few questions of Laureen Smith, our very experienced ITO, marking today's match. Could not be in better hands. Pretty high standard when you uh, have an ITO as your marker. Cass is having a little run here. Yeah, finds a little bit of front traffic. Didn't quite work out the way she wanted, but there no. are still options. Oh no, that's her fourth, so it's she's got no more options. No, a chance for Kelly to add a little bit of gravy. Holding one, measure for second, but I'd say it's only one. Last <laughs> bowl may well change that though, Pat. Very nice bowl just come in there. Actually, a little edge on the jack might have been pretty good too. Might have moved it just enough. We'll wait and see. No messing around with these girls. Kelly's out with the measure. And these two know each other pretty well, both Taylor-sponsored players. Yet to play a game of singles against each other, but they have played some pairs and uh, or some teams combinations together. Right. Well, that's pretty handy, isn't it? Yep. Both players using a Taylor GTR size 3. The very distinct Moama Steamers colour of uh, Cass Millerick's bowl, green and white. And as much as they measured that one 13 times, it was still definitely 3. Nice start for Kelly. Yeah, she'll be very pleased with that. Yes. So we're here at Bendigo East Bowling Club. It's about 21, 22 degrees, just getting towards the later stages of the day. Just ticked over 4 p.m. Started to cool off a little bit. Just perfect conditions. Ab absolutely magic. We've seen some brilliant bowls all day. Sure have. The other semi-final is with Di Washford from Mornington Peninsula. She's up against Mary Tregard from Ovens and Murray, and they'll start pretty soon too. Mary Tregard also having a busy week. She was in the women's pairs, so they've just finished their match. They'll have a, a quick break and refresh before she comes out for her Champion of Champions single semi-final. I saw her eating a banana, the best thing known for uh, the quick turnaround. Got everything you could want there, old banana. The girls seem to have the line worked out. Just getting themselves used to the length. Oh, and we've got a friend. He's Mag ready for tomorrow's match. Magpie's just landed right in the middle of the rink here. Oh, he's got friends. Yeah. It is their emblem here at Bendigo East. Magpies inhabit the trees surrounding the club. Right. Day in, day out. So how do they go in springtime? Yeah, I think they feed them enough that they're friendly. Oh. So magpies, for those who don't know, have a very good memory. They remember faces. So keep on the right side of them and they'll look after you. Mm. Very nice bowl there from Cass. Yeah, she's got a pretty good memory too. Mm. She's the reigning uh, Champion of Champions title holder, so she's been here and done it before. Hmm. And now, of course, she's through to the semis in the uh, pairs as well with Olivia, who well, was the winner yesterday. She won the state singles for women yesterday, so yeah, they've got some talent here, that's for sure. 
Not a bad region to be representing, really, is it? Yeah, very strong, Bendigo Campaspe Goldfields. Of course, Sandbelt is no slouch of a region to some no. quality players. Kelly, of course, is a Canadian representative. Been living out here in Australia for many years now. We watched her recently in the final of Metro Pennant. Yeah, we did, for Clayton. Yes. Lovely bowl from Cass Miller. It sets up yeah. a bit of a target. Kelly, quite an aggressive player, does have a very good run. She has arguably the best back, maybe not quite, depending on which side the jack goes. Close. There is a bit of a target there. <laughs> Kelly just shoes the magpie away. She'll get swooped if she's not careful. They've got good memories. <laughs> Oops, it's not cooperating. <laughs> and yes, she is having a bit of a run here. Just missed her line. So Cass Millerick, who dropped a three on the first end, is holding two here and a chance to pick up a three of her own. Waste no time. Never does. Always very decisive. Will it turn? It's a pretty good track coming Ooh. in. It's going to be very close. They might have the measure out again. Could do. We'll wait and see. Roll out two to get a good look at this. Kelly's just going to do the old finger measure. Oh, out with the tape. Nice clear measuring too. Mm, I like it. Very when competent, very fast. Yeah, just so it is just the two. Still, that's a handy reply. After going down a three on the first end, always good to bounce back straight away. Yeah, she'll definitely be pleased with that. Afternoon Vivian watching for Packenham. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be Viv Balfour. It hi, is. It hi is. Viv. Very strong supporter of all our streams. <laughs> nice to have you watching today. Bendigo East do have their own mascots, but no, David, not a Collingwood supporter. <laughs> Kelly's not, that's for sure. She was just waving that magpie away with vigour. Oh, look out. <laughs> it's back again. Shout out to JT, who used to call the old magpie kangaroo. Oh, no. In the stream a couple of years ago, got his animals completely mixed up. Oh, how often do you remind him of that? Oh, oh. Nice little kangaroo just <laughs> running across the screen. I love it, Brad. Oh, Brad. That could be the greatest ever. <laughs> the shame is JT's here watching. He won't have seen the kangaroo running across the screen. No. Oh. <laughs> Not a bad response here from Kelly McKeeran as well. So both players... The odd loose bowl on end one, and since then they've been dialed in nicely. Very experienced, both of them. Yeah, they make it look easy. Mm, it's a lovely spot. Not in the count, but very handy. You see in the background of our pictures the Die Washford Mary Trigard match, just having their roll up. They've got Lorraine Dowson out there, another ITO who's marking their match. So they're on the rink next door. We expect not a bad crowd in for this one. Just had the men's and women's pairs quarterfinals wrap up. So people will stick around and watch a good game of bowls here, I'd imagine. Pleasant afternoon, good bowls, nice company. What more could you want? Yeah, lovely, lovely pace there. Yeah, well played. Mm. Val Park is watching from the Coral Princess cruise ship. Trying to find out how Die Washford is going. Well, we will keep you updated, Val. So sit back on the cruise ship. Die is in the first end of her roll-up. So uh, just about to start, of course, her opponent, Mary Trigard, 
was a bit delayed after playing in the women's pairs quarterfinals. Oh, and what a Just beautiful finished. bowl. Well done, Kelly. <laughs> I just was wondering the same thing myself. Yeah. Cass has just asked, was she the white uh, for the paddles? She does have white on one side of her bowl, so that's logical. She does, yeah. It's as close as we can get. Mm. I'm not sure we'd come to the green and white halfway bowl um, paddles, would we? Oh, no, and what a she huge draws bowl. applause from Kelly McKeeran. That's an absolute belter. Just tucks the jack around the corner for what looks to be three, just two, two and a measure is the uh, signal. So, absolute cracker of a bowl. Andrew Hinch is watching from South Africa. Nice to have you watching, Andrew. No problem, Val. Happy to keep you updated. Now, David, you're asking, did Dev win? Which Dev are you referring to, buddy? Let me know and I shall chase that up for you. I'm going to say you're meeting Neil Devlin from Pakenham. They did get through. They got through 15-13 for Eastern Rangers over the murray Melly combination of... Isaiah Bettis and Glenn Scott. Oh. Oh. Well played by Kelly. Punches the jack through. And one of her bowls just rocked through far enough. Yeah, the girls are giggling. They're enjoying themselves. One it is confirmed. One to Kel. One to Kel, says Cass, quite clearly. 4-2 in the race to 25 here for the Champion of Champions single semi-final. Jess Alvaro joining us in the comments saying what a match-up. Absolutely. This one promises to be high standard and a good blend of aggression thrown in. And the absolute draw skill as well. Mm -hmm. both, both of them have that as well as a, a touch of aggression. And don't we love it? Yep, a very nice start from Kelly. Got the close to the length, just missed the line a smidge, but handy. When Lorene walks over and is looking right over the bowl, you know that she may be getting the chalk out. Yep. And she did. Well done, Cass. <laughs> Kelly just sliding past but in a good position for her when she puts down her next bowl. Afternoon, Casper. Tony here and Pat Schramm, the president. So we see the kangaroo go flying across again. <laughs> Geelong boys in the pair, which is Maddie Lawrence and Luke Lawrence, they got up over Brad Lancaster and Brendan Addison from Gippsland. I don't have a score handy. But it was a victory to the Geelong boys. And it's changed as the match went on the um, move. Now I've forgotten who. It was Geelong and... Gippsland. Gippsland got out to a cracker start. Mm -hmm. They were leading seven love. And then the Gippsland boys fired up. As Kelly comes through, she's fired up. Yeah, she's got her drive dialed in early. She's killed the end, so that jacks out of bounds. Of course, here in state championships, there are no time limits, no dead ends. It is purely about finding the best performed player. So back to the Gippsland and Geelong match. Um, the next time I came around to have a look, they were 11 all. So things can certainly change. I want to know whether those Geelong boys are up. I, gather their brothers, whether they're even twins, they look so alike. They low. could be close, you could easily confuse those two. <laughs> 
Mark Brett making a suggestion, saying thank you, great job of the telecast. Any chance of putting a colour dot close to their bowls, colour or near their name, to show who it is in terms of the paddles? Yeah, fair call. We do try and match the paddle colours to the bowls, but you see Cass's colours are exactly a green and white half. Kelly's a pink. Now the paddles we can get that are closest are white. We could only pick one of the colours, which is for Cass, and then we've got a red colour, which is for Kelly, so... Nice idea though, I think we'll try and do something like that. And there's um, a very nice reply. And Jay asking for a score in the Atkinson pairs match. They are currently leading 10-8. I don't know whether that's a little while ago, so we'll get that updated. They did have some dead ends. I did see some around there. Mark Brett saying he wants that on the scoreboard, Brad. Is there any way that you can weave your magic to do that? So on the scoreboard, use some form of white paddle and a red paddle Brad's just giving me the thumbs up every time we ask Brad to do something he can do it so that's because he loves the sport of bowls he does and look he's so so well loved at bowls victoria honorarium for him <laughs> just oh. missing the jack jack back would have been an absolutely terrific result but just missed it Brad's busy tapping away, doing his creative best. And he's got pictures up already. What a superstar. Speaking of superstars, what a bad track coming in here for Cass Millerick. And what a pace. What a pace. Like, that is amazing. Holding two now. Yeah. Holding three, rather. Needed to be there, but not overdone. Kelly has two best backs. I would have got whacked if I had I said backest, wouldn't I? You would have, <laughs> with a very sharp right elbow. <laughs> Kelly electing just to draw this one clean. Oh, it's a pretty good effort. It's a pretty oh, good close. effort. Close, and it, but it fell out. That's Lorraine's looking deeply. So did cut two out, so well played, Kelly McEwen. Cass Miller still with one to come. On the next rink, the other semi final has just started. Oh. Tell you what. Oh. Oh. Just died slightly and not going to get around, but yeah. despite the request of Cass Millerick. Around it, she asked, <laughs> but not quite. Be nice if bowls had listened to you, wouldn't it? Oh, especially mine, but yeah. Uh, just going to put a tape on this to check. Laureen Smith, the marker, has called this one to Cass. I don't think there's any real change. She has the a last ball. Pretty fair eye, does Lorraine? Yeah, I'd back it every day of the week. Mm. And confirmed, it is one shot to Cass Millerick. Well played, Lorraine. She still trails, but only four shots to three. I look over and see a couple of people just putting their jumpers on. I think some of them are that have, have been in the shade. It's a different temperature. The people that are out in the sun, mind you, it's just not clouding over, but not as bright as it was. Maybe it is clouding over. A little bit, but nothing major. Lovely start from Cass.
Lorraine has a close look, but not a touch of her Kelly, but just passing behind, so it's always useful. Oh. oh. Now we've got a noisy miner getting in this. He didn't make any noise, though. No, not that time, but Cass Miller did. She was mm. much concerned. Mm -mm. Good start from Di Washford, Washford, one rink over. She's picked up a three on the opening end. Having a look for four, but I think they'll resign to the fact that it's three. Back to action here, and Kelly just a touch narrow. Getting the marker to measure on the rink next door. All part of the service. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Cass has just touched the kitty and trailed it. May not have been to her advantage. Her shorts is her one on the centre line, please. Oh, the one on the centre line. Yeah. That one is All right, for those asking for score updates, the Atkinsons are leading 13 12 after 14 ends played there. That game's been going a good three hours, three and a half hours. Quite a long game. Mm. Oh. I kind of don't know how that missed actually power <laughs> for that was that was yeah. taking the jack back each time. But. Yeah. It's just glorious to watch. The other ladies' pairs match out there, which is Metro West against Goldwood Murray, is now 15 shots apiece. It was 11 zip. It was a massive comeback. 15 shots apiece after 14 ends. Not sure whether she's made a difference with just bumping that bowl up. Kelly's yeah. already up that end, having a little check out. Definitely holding one. It's whether or not. As yeah. you say, Pat, they pumped up that second one. And made it to, we'll wait and see. <laughs> Cass Miller, very relaxed. Always Talking to a punter who's just walked in. So yeah, a good old chin wag now. Yeah. yeah. Nice to see um, a number of Moema players here to mm. support Cass. I think a few of them have been were here yesterday also. They've got a fair bit to support this week already. They certainly have. They do it well. Now, uh, Tony... Kelly only just missed with her last bowl going the other way. Mm, oh, I suppose the bump has made the difference. Yeah, changing hands. You could argue either way, couldn't you? But if Cass's bump had m yeah. moved the, that slightly out onto the forehand side. Might not have quite had the same track that she had just narrowly missed with. Mm, correct. So it was two for Cass, so the bump did make a difference. It had just, it's really interesting. It is down to a only inches, isn't it? Certainly is. She now takes the lead five shots to four. First to 25. Champion of champion women's singles, semi final. And of course, our champion of champions goes on. They do. They'll be heading to Western Australia this year. 
And the Nationals are? They're either at Sorrento or Joondalup Bowls Club. I'm not sure, depending on the discipline. Of course, a combination of Ali Shield, Marge Morris, the National over 60s, the disability events, the under 18 events, and all the Australian titles, all hold it, held in Western Australia later this year. And they are going to be for just once, this once, and then in a few more years. Correct. I think it's 2023 and 2026. Right. Okay. It'll be a nice part of the world for the, our winners to go over there and check out the greens. Yeah, one of Australia's best cities, Perth. Lovely, lovely spot. Mind you, I believe you've got to be pretty ha good at coping with wind when you play bowls in Perth. This is true. The, uh, the sea breeze, as they call it, not the Fremantle Doctor. That's only what they call it down south. Mm -hmm. It's the sea breeze if you're in Perth. Oh, Lucas Protopappas. That's oh, very hello. nice of you, mate. Is he saying nice things? He's saying we're his favourite commentators. Oh, hello, gorgeous Lucas. It was his mum's birthday, I see, today Carol. or yesterday. Yeah. She's uh, here again here a couple of times this week, I think, Carol. Mm. She's had a very good year. Tell you what, how's the standard of bowls we're seeing here, Pat? Oh, oh just amazing. A lovely little oh. touch on the jack. Just amazing. I don't know whether it'll get to two, no, just the one so far, but... No, Cass is still holding that. Oh, the, so yeah, the pink one fell out. out. Yeah. yeah, the pink fell out. Oh, Cass is staying on the backhand. She actually shaped up to change and then thought, had a second thought and changed back, so... Mm. She's got the length beautifully. Yes, yeah, oh. she does, doesn't she? Oh, just magic. No Ooh. touch on her bowl. But a bit of a target now. Oh. Have to wait and see what Kelly's going to do. No, still drawing. This green is so good. A credit to Tonks and all the crew here that have shaped these greens. The green is so good. They feel like they can draw their way out of trouble with just about any shot. Mm. That one just a touch short. Line was bang on. And Cass is going the backhand again. Confident that she did it last time. And in a really nice spot, just gone past, close yeah, to the line. Not a bad spot to be at all. Good start for Di Washford on the green next door. She's up five zip after two ends. So our cruising friend. Will yeah, Val will be very happy. Val will be happy. She'll be able to go and grab another cocktail and sit back on the banana lounge. Mm. We'll keep you updated with all the scores. You need to ask them on the cruise ship to put it up on the big screen. Yeah, this is true. You'll get some shots in the background. And yes. I can tell you in the women's pairs, Kate Bush, Di Hands, representing Goulburn Murray, have got up over Christine Vella and Sarah Roger from Metro West. So they were 11 zip down. And they've come back to win at 16-15 on the last end. Well, you never think that the sisters are finished. <laughs> They're always going to keep com coming at you, and yeah. that's no surprise. Very handy players. They're just a touch wide there oh. from Kelly McCarran. We'll see if this is two shots to Cass Miller. It's definitely one. Whether it stays to two, it does. Yeah, I reckon that's probably right, Spence. It's certainly... It's a great pace, and it's as true as they come. <laughs> Cass Miller drops the jack out and says, that was a good roll. <laughs> Got to have a sense of humour. Yeah. And she does. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say about 16 seconds here. <laughs> Looks amazing, I've got to say. Yeah, beautiful.
compasses dialed in, choosing the length and putting that first pressure bowl right on. You'll be pleased to know our Brad is here busy working away on these paddle symbols. Looks like Mary Tredegar has broken the ice over there. Yeah, she'll pick up one and get herself on the board in her match against Di Washford. She's trailing 5-1. We always like to break the ice. Got to get on the board. Somebody just walking behind the head right at the wrong time, just oblivious to the fact that there's a game of bowls going on. Bit of support for Kel from Anthony yep. Wachowski. Looks handy, this bowl of Kelly's. How's this for a track, Pat? Oh, beautiful. What a beauty. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and a toucher. May have gone too early on the shot for Mary Trigar next door, Pat. Oh. It was called that by the marker, but now they've got measures out and chocks and the whole process going on. Right. Kelly's still holding one. It is shot to Mary Trigar, so she picks up one, she's on the board, trailing one five. Kelly's got another great ball. Shaping up to be a belter of a match. Oh, one and a measure, so I must have just moved the kitty a little bit sideways. Cass has got a little more pace on this. Just a bit if wide. Get down at that pace. But yeah. Idea was there, trying to punch up her own two front bowls. Mm -hmm. so down one on a measure. Kelly has one bowl to come. Kelly's up there surveying the scene. She'll be making a clear decision, I'm sure. What's the play here, Pat? A bit of risk either side of her bowls. Does she try and switch? Uh. Switch the hand, end. switch to the backhand, trail yep. at six inches, make it three. There you go. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> She's just the girl to be able to do it too. Yes, still deciding. Yes. Ooh. On to the backhand, as we predicted, Tony. Can she do what you've asked for? I mean, not too far off, but just, just cutting running. a touch fine. So no change, so still one on a measure. We can tell you in the women's pairs quarterfinal, Joe McMahon, McMahon, Sandy Rowe, composite team from Northern Gateway, are locked at 13 all after 15 ends with Cheryl and Samantha Atkinson. So they will be off to an extra end. As Kelly McKeeran picks up just the one here. Yeah, good call, Casper. The shadows here will, they will impact things. Um, the change at this time of day in the green when the sun sort of disappears and buildings and structures start to create shade will change the pace, change the way things are played. These guys, of course, well and truly good enough to handle that. The old saying, after four, give it more. That's it. But these people know to only give it a smidge more. 
Jody Fruin saying the bowls are first class. They absolutely are. We've also got a question on, do you know which game you'll be live streaming tomorrow with mixed pairs in the morning? Mixed pairs is not until one o'clock. So, but if you've got any requests for the mixed pairs, let us know. There's some good matches in there, that's for sure. By the st previous end standard, it's a slightly looser end to, um, to first two bowls, but I'm sure they'll both um, make the adjustment. Mm, Kelly's just hanging a couple of feet short. looks better from Cass and she's found the gap through the two pink bowls to get the shot with that one, her second ball. Very nice ball from Kelly coming here. Cass has just asked Loreen for whether she was holding, and yes, she is. A bit of traffic to rely on to get through here. If we just switch this camera angle. And that was always the worry, needed to be a couple of bowls wider. Cass is asking for a little bit of coaching. I think Cass has walked and played two games of pairs already today <laughs> and she wasn't that keen to walk up and have a look, so. Steve Weston saying one of the details of the regional comps at the moment being uploaded on the BV website. They're in Bowls Link now in terms of who's playing who and where and what time. <laughs> 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 well, that's confidence, isn't it? Don't worry, I drew it anyway, she said. It was two more to Cass Millerick. She now leads 9-5. Jade saying Liv Cartwright and Brad Campbell would be good to watch in the mixed pairs, yeah. That would be a handy one. Just checking the length of the jack here. Yeah, Kelly's decided, yep. Well and truly okay. repeating the women's pairs have gone to an extra end so we'll keep you updated with that they're about halfway through they are on the other green so we have nothing, nothing yeah, visual to that. give you any information i'm relying on somebody texting me through some uh, info next door do i wash but got away to a great start five zip and mary Trigard has started to pull her back so five three currently to die washford Representing Mornington Peninsula. 
Another lovely bowl there. Two nice starters. Kelly's got a toucher. These bowls just seem to be rolling on forever, don't they? Yeah. Tad short with that one, but... Kelly's got around the front bowls, now holding two. Yeah, well played. Last bowl, is that the shot, please? Yes. And how far in front is it, please? About 12 inches. Okay, thank you. Such great manners. Mm. Every Confident of the draw, just sliding past. But it's got a bit more pace to it. It does. Oh. Well, rumbles through and gets the jack back to a waiting bowl. Jan Morton, thank you very much. She's suggesting we do the Metro West v Gippsland in the mixed pairs. And of course, it's Andrew Todorovic and Brett Marnie from Metro West up against Julie Simpson and Wallace Mason from Lakes Entrance in Gippsland, so I don't mind that option too. So there's um, been some Lakes Entrance um, players here today that well represented. Yeah, Brendan Addison and Brad Lancaster are in the men's pairs. Kelly's oh. having a little run. Oh. oh, that has missed by an absolute whisker. And I can tell you in the women's pairs. The Atkinsons have won, so that was all tied. And go on to an extra end. Don't know the score, but they have won. So that'll be a win to Cheryl and Sammy Atkinson. Part and of the Streslecki region. It was just magic sitting there watching the four women's semi-finals before the quality of the heads. You only had to look across and they were just fantastic. Yeah, not wrong. Hmm. And that match has been going since just before one o'clock, so puts it at <laughs> almost a four-hour match of pairs. So there's a uh, some of the matches were done in two hours, and it's taken them almost four hours. So there's some. Uh, I think the kangaroo boys arrived. <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it, JT? You can win I'm a state title and anyone only talks about the kangaroo incident. Must admit, JT, I was watching yesterday when they were giving you grief about being in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you were concentrating, that's the thing. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you and hand over to JT. Thanks, Tony, for having me. Thank you, Pat. You're a star. Track coming in here from Cass, but just a touch shy. <coughs> oh, hold on, J. Allen Doyle Dale is saying 
They've, oh, they've fallen over the finish line. No, that's correct. Yeah, I thought you were saying the other way to what I did. I got a no, bit I was I was watching it, Tane. They did just get in there an extra end, JT. Yes, correct. Nice to have you back in commentary, mate. No, just a little break, re uh, refresh myself. And congrats formally on your state championship win in the fours, you and Shorty and uh, Mr. Caldwell and Mr. Lehman. Yeah, no, it was uh, a ripper day yesterday. Yeah, your first state title in Victoria in uh, open company. You won two state disability titles the week before, and you've got a host of those. But you've also won a state title in Queensland, I understand, so not unfamiliar territory for you. No, but it was just too good to get the, the homegrown one, I guess, yep. you know. I've um, been playing for nearly 30 years, and it's eluded me. I've made uh, a few semi-finals, never actually made an open state final, so the fact that we got there was a, a bonus, and um, yep. I guess they say the rest is history. And now you get your chance to uh, vie for a national title. Yeah, the boys didn't realise that we had that opportunity, and they, they nearly fell over when they found out we are going to Perth. <laughs> Speaking of nearly falling over, Cass Millerick. Well played. Holding two now. JT, I don't know whether you've seen much of this match, but the standard has been very, very high. I've sort of tried to keep abreast. I was, you know, I was watching the last couple of games of the ladies' pairs over there and then, yeah, been trying to watch a little bit. I, I, look, I'm not surprised. They're two quality players. Um, obviously, Kelly, a, a Canadian international. Obviously, appearing often coming out of Sandbelt in the ladies' events. And Cass, our claim to Victorian now. And uh, she's obviously figured prominently uh, ever since she's been in the state. She sure has the reigning champion of champions title holder. Looking to go back to back. She's picked up another two there. She now leads 12-5. Brad from SEN is just putting the finishing touches to some paddles work on the scoreboard. Yeah. So we had a question, JT, from one of our yeah, <coughs> one of our viewers saying they'd like to be able to know which paddles the mark is holding up, which player they line to. So we set Brad the challenge, and uh, he's working through some options for us now. It's good to see him do something. <laughs> Cheeky. You win one state title, I think you can be cheeky. Oh, I think I was cheeky before then anyway, so... Yeah, that's true. Good start of a cast. Yeah. This has been familiar So one thing territory. I was going to ask you, Tony, have they been predominantly playing that side of the green? Because I think that's the better hand. It's a wider hand, but it's the more consistent hand. They have, yep. yeah. And Di Washford picks up another shot over on her rink. We'll wait for that scoreboard to be adjusted from the end before. Five, six, so now six. Six, five is the lead to Di Washford. So she is six, representing Mornington Peninsula, up against Mary Tregar, who is five from Ovens and Murray. Gary McKay, nice to have you watching, Shorty. Well done yesterday. I'm sure you will have a, uh, a great opportunity over in Perth as Kelly just misses wide with that drive. Cass will be looking to try and arrive to her own and change the shape of the head. Looks probably fat at the moment, hence why Kelly drove. And yep. Cass will be looking to change it up, which I reckon she's played the right way to do so. If she moves the jacket's probably good. Yeah. Yep. One real good one there. Well, she's probably got more than one, but it's one real good one. Hope the celebrations weren't too long into the night last night, Shorty. Yeah, he would have been drinking Coke. Doesn't drink? No, I've seen him have a brandy once when we won a grand final, but it's very, very rare. Mm, smart man. The other boys definitely would have made up for him. That's the same about Kelly's last bowl. The bowls are about level, yes. About level, thank you. So Cass still holding one. Going 
a stop in time, JT. Nearly. It is signalled as two from our marker. Lorraine Smith, one of the best in the business. Can't see Kelly doing too much different other than just trying to get a line right from a last. <coughs> she can sit on the back bowl of Cass Millerick. It's just going now. Yeah, just a touch tight. Presume this is going to be two more to Cass Miller. It is. He now leads 14 5. Dropped a three on the opening end. Since then, she has been stunning. I don't think Kelly's playing bad at all. Cass is just that little bit closer. On your Gibbo. Well done on your efforts at Golden Square last week too. First starter from Cass again. JT, she's done this all match. She has just been absolutely dialed in. As I say, Kelly's not playing bad. Um, I've always said the first bowl is the most important bowl in singles. Yep. If you're nailing it or, you know, pretty darn good with the first, it sets you up big time. And it puts pressure on the opposition too. That's what it's all about this game. Cass Millerick on this rink here. Mary Tregard have both had long days playing two games of pairs and then into a game of singles, which is a semi final. And they're going to come up against each other tomorrow morning. Yes. In the women's pairs semi final. So they're going to get to know each other's game very well if they don't already. So that, of course, is Liv Cartwright and Cass Millerick representing Bendigo Campaspe Goldfields, as we see. Nice effort there from. Kelly, and they'll be up against Mary Trigard and Carly Whitehead from Ovens and Murray. And the other semi-final, Kate Bush and Di Hands from Goulburn Murray will be up against Cheryl and Sammy Atkinson from Streslecki. So plenty going on. If you happen to be in the area, come on down to Bendigo East Bowling Club. We are here all week. Try the veal. He's got the, the paddles up on the screen. There is no doubt about it. Our Brad. Yeah, well played. Cass Millerick. Mark Britt was the one I think who asked uh, earlier on. So ask and you shall receive Mark Britt. So those two paddles that you're seeing are matched to the paddles that the marker is using. So the white paddle for Cass Millerick and the red paddle for Kelly McGeeran. for Kelly McKeeran. Yeah. Such is the quality of Cass Millerick. This match will slip away quickly. She's obviously doesn't want to drop the number, but she's got chances if she lands the jack too. Mm. Just a touch high for trailing it. 
Doesn't quite stop on time. It falls out. So just when things are not going your way. Could be three. Yeah, we'll wait for confirmation. Kelly kicks out two. Have a look at this for three, but it looks like three from here. And there is the resignation. Three more to Cass Miller. It's 17-5. So all of a sudden, Cass peels off five ends in a row. Two, one, two, two, three. And she's won <coughs> about nine of the last ten ends. Yeah, if it wasn't probably for Kelly's first end mm. through the three, it'd probably even look even more ominous. the loosest ball I've seen Cass put down with her first one since a beanie. Yeah, and it's, what, two and a half foot? Yeah, it's not fast. So. TT, I'm going to love you and leave you. We have a genuine superstar about to join you in commentary. I will hand it over to you and uh, I'll go and enjoy the rest of this match from the sidelines. Thank you. Thanks, Tone. Cass is corrected really well there. As we're just tidying up there and f fixing a couple of things up, I uh, welcome to the commentary box. First time? We'll find out in a second. I've been trying to get her on for a while. The one and only Australian Jackaroo, Victorian State Player, Kylie Whitehead. And well, yeah, well, yeah, world champion. I forgot to leave with that one too. <laughs> thank you for joining me Kylie uh, thanks for having me oh, it's good to get your insight obviously uh, you know you've won many a things over the years uh, and also the fact that we've got one of your pairs partner out there in the rink as well next door yes in Mary so um, who's currently down at the moment 11-5 um, you know Mary pretty well in terms of that match there'll be a bit of fight left in her yeah yep there will be yeah, expect her to pick up a bit. She's uh, always in with a chance, so never gives up. So it's always good to play with. And you're through to the semis in the pairs now? Yes, we are. Tomorrow morning? Exciting. Yeah, no, it was a big day today, so had some good games. It's good, it's fantastic. Yeah. And how many events this week for you? Uh, two, so pairs and fours. Perfect. Who's in the fours? Is it Anne Miles? Yeah, with the three musketeers in that one. So Anne, Laureen and Claire. Claire. Perfect. Yeah. Three musketeers. I love that. Yeah. yeah Cass teach, is... Teach me all, my, all their bad habits. So. One down to Cass at the moment. Ka Ka Kelly's got one. Cass is um, playing very well. I was just saying, the first bowl was probably very pivotal in any singles match. If you're going with it, it uh, helps you set you up. And she's been fantastic. And this was her worst first bowl I've seen in a while. So, and, 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 and Kelly's jumped on, so it's given her a chance. Yeah, I mean, in singles, if you can nail that first ball, then it sets you up well for the rest of them. So, but, I mean, overall, it's been a really good quality game, so... And you're not long back from the Gold Coast, playing in the multi-nations? Yeah, gosh. That it's only a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? 
I've lost track, to be quite honest. All the days just blur into one sometimes. <laughs> but One gold? Yeah, we won gold in fours, so Fantastic. that was really good. Yeah, great experience and warm weather, so you can't <laughs> complain. And how are you finding your involvement with the Jackaroos, Kylie? Oh, loving it. I mean, yep. I'm just soaking yeah, every moment in, really. Good. I'm just grateful to be there and... You know, we've got amazing, amazing coaches and support staff and um, everyone in the squad is, yeah, really just supportive and welcoming and, yeah, it's like a big family. Um, so, yeah, no, it's an honour to, to be in the squad. So, interesting uh, tactic change here. Kelly's brought the mat up, put the uh, jack on the tee... Yes, I'll... Try and change it up a little bit. Change something. But start it off all right there. Granny will be spewing. She's not on the live stream. She always loves a bit of a chat on there. She's but all... Yeah, yeah. She's she does get on there, doesn't she? Oh, yep. She's out of control. We have our regulars. It's fantastic. Mm. Froths. <laughs> Now, you're reluctant to come on here, Kylie, I know that. Yes. But I know you reasonably well. I've got to know you better over the last few years as well. And what I love about you, you, you actually, once you get to know you and you're comfortable, you have a really great personality. And uh, um, I thought you'd be really good for this. So, oh. giving you a bit of a pump up there. Thanks, JT. No, don't pump me up too much. I'll be a bit of disappointment for no, a lot of people. never. <laughs> yeah, no. I can't say I'm a big chatter, but anyway... You dragged me into it, so I'll have a crack. That's all right. See, now you're just warming up, you know, so. <laughs> it's just weird sitting here talking to no one. No <laughs> one's replying except for you. Cass close here. She probably wants to slide under the pink one to get shot. Oh. It's probably good enough. Yeah. Some tips to try to get. We look at the screen, but sometimes it's even easier to get up and stand up and have a look at than the green too. Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out what the best way is. It's right. just... It's a lot going on. A bit going on. on, you know. Yeah. We have, you know, scoring over here and the comments of the Facebook. I forgot to do the score last then, so I've uh, dropped the ball as Kelly draws oh, shot. Oh, is that... Do you control the score from here? Yes. When it comes up on the screen? Correct. Oh. Well. Even Brad has done something today, and he's actually put the coloured paddles on the screen as Whoa. well. Whoa. Look out. Well done, Brad. Just gets better every time. Afternoon, Jake. And, uh... Afternoon, Shirley Hamill. Uh, oh. Shirls, we actually won the fours for, what, 2016? Shirley was in the team back then. See that bowl by Cass then? She went beside the jack, uh, inside the bowl. Nothing. Can you get a slow-mo replay on that one? You can do replays. Hello, Jody Fruin. I'm not singing, mate. You heard me enough last week, so... Was that at uh, what, City Country? It was, yeah. It's a good weekend. Country guys and girls yes. took home the honours. It was yeah. fantastic, wasn't it? Yes. We we're, have a we're a bit biased, aren't we? Just a little bit. Yeah, it's not a bad ball there by Kelly. I mean, if hard. Cass is going to play that similar shot, she's uh, getting a little bit of protection. Correct. Close. In the area. Very close. Got it. Ooh, oh. oh. Well, it, it was chance. in the area, got the jack, and then probably got a, an element of luck to get it right back where she, which she did as well. Lawn bowls to a tee. Here's the replay. Oh, now we're just working out whether it's one or two. So outside, uh, as they're measuring, outside of Champions Week, what's next on the radar for you, Kylie? Um, we have State Pennant. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We're done. We're done. Got one the uh, weekend up yeah. in Zamari. Yes, we did. So. Do I see you're playing third to Mason now? Yeah. In that? A bit of a stitch up there. Nah. <laughs> nah, we're actually looking forward to it. Hopefully, we have a bit of a crack, better than we did last time, anyway. But um, it should be a good weekend. Away with the boys. 
always been a very strong club in the ovens of Murray. Wodonga. Yes. Um, my era. Um, pretty much uh, they made nearly every grand final. We, we were figuring a fair bit ourselves back in the day, the Car RSL. And um, no, I, I couldn't tell you how many, but I felt like there was like 15 and 20 years they might have won in Division 1. Wodonga. Yeah, there was a lot there. Yeah. I I think there's lot. only been about four teams, other teams that have actually won a flag in the A1s, other than Wodonga. Well, probably since they started their run, at least, anyway. Yeah. Um, I know Coral Civics won one. Correct. YMGCR's won one. Yep. Benella's won two. Sure, yep. Yep. I, I mean, you're asking the I wrong know. person And then here. RSL would have won four or five. There you go. They're all over it. Give or take one or two there, you yeah. know, but roughly. Great starter from Kelly. Yeah, no, it's a pretty strong competition, the A1s. So, I enjoy playing. Great correction here from Kelly. That's Kelly. Now, if my memory's right, it was about two years ago you would have played a Falls final against Kelly. Your memory serves you correctly. Lisa was skipping that rink? Yes. Yes. Okay. I reckon Courtney was the second. I do believe so. Oh, yeah. yes. I think Tiff Brody was the lead. Yeah. That was one, and uh, yeah. You Courtney guys had a. a a medical emergency halfway through. We had a little 10, 15 minute comfort break in yeah, that match, yes. Yep, and it was freezing. Yes, I remember you doing sort of jogging on the spot to try and keep oh, warm. I was doing everything I could. We were in the commentary, and I know I was freezing. Yeah. I think um, part of the reason why I might have moved times with Champions Week is to try and get away from that coldness, get yes. it in a bit of warmer weather. Yes, I am all for that. Although last week at uh, City Country it was not the best. No, we did play. It wasn't cold though. It was just wet. Well, it was cold. Yes. Well, each to their own, but I was cold. I didn't think it was that cold. All right. It's it's probably Cass still in here. Lucis and Cass has played. Mm. She's probably just looking to correct on the on the weight. That's all. Yeah. She gets, back. She's not far away. She's close. She's very Around close. The front. Very close. Oh. What a ball. What a shot. Well, sign her up. <laughs> that one really hurts when you're, you know, you're chasing shots and you're a bit behind and you've got a couple, two or three good ones. and mm, Bit of a dagger, but mm, she yep. can somehow get it out. She'll you think she'd play back end? Yeah. You'd think you'd played this game before, JT. Only occasionally. Right. She's on the chance to... She's not far away. She's not far away. She's got it. Bang. Good shot. Good shot. Could be two. Very good shot. Probably played that really good weight where she got the jack flush as well. She might have made two or three yeah, as well. Yeah, no, she played it very well. Two it was. As you would expect from Kelly. Very experienced player. 18 <coughs> 8. Opting for that mat up tactic again. Mm. Well, again, it was working for her last end, and Cass had to put the jack in the pit just to get her as uh, uh, the shot. Yes, it's very true. So do you have a go-to move when you first start playing singles? Is there like a length, a, a hand you play? Um, is it dependent on what type of green you're playing on? Probably dependent on my mood on the day, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I try not to overthink it. Um, just kind of probably start with that nice medium yep. medium length and sort of feel how the other opponent goes. And then 
if things go from bad to worse, then I change it up. Probably more, I like to go longer. Mm-hmm. Um, stretch it out a bit. And so then in terms of practice, do you practice that? And uh, you just change it up? I mean, obviously part of the checker, and you got to do drills. I know that part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I probably, yeah, practice a bit of everything. Um, probably do the long ends a bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, just because, obviously, you want to be reaching all the time. Great bowl, Great Kelly. Bowl, Kelly. Um, give the bowls a chance. Whereas obviously, in the shorter ends, you not going to hopefully struggle too much with your weight. So. All right. uh, yeah. I know you went to England last year. Um, you trialled. I mean, you're actually part of the support crew, uh, weren't you, correct, uh, for the actual Com Games? Yes. Now, uh, obviously, Cass, ooh, ooh, very good bowl. Um, what I was alluding to is obviously going over and playing in England was uh, probably much different to playing in Wodonga. <laughs> Just a little bit. What did you do in terms of preparation for that? Well, the, I mean, really, back home, like, there's not a lot of uh, greens that are nine seconds. No. Um, so I kind of just tried to play as long as I could yep. and um, hope for the best and then I don't think really anything could prepare prepare you for the greens over there if you've never played them um, but just had to adjust and I mean like I said Cass is close again oh she's got it great shot oh wow can't do much about that Yeah, no, it was an amazing experience over there, so very fortunate to be able to get the opportunity to go over there. I reckon she'll be arriving, giving it a chance. Get through her own, it's a toucher. Yeah. Happen to just skirt it, close. you might get the jack. She's awfully close. Great shot. Great bowls. Wow. It's a shame this is the uh, semi and not the grand final. I'll give you a score to update from the rink next door. Uh, morning potential 13. Ovens and Murray 8. Cash just a bit high. One to Kelly. So it's the first time in the match she's actually strung a couple ends together, which is great. Oh. Get back in the game. 18-9. It's beauty of singles. Just keep clawing your way back in. You got lined up next for this gig, JT. No, you're here to the finish now, Kylie. Oh, your poor viewers <laughs> apologise in advance. It's fine. I start talking dribble, it's because I'm tired. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll finish it off and... Um, All right. <coughs> we could be here for uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, a half an hour, an hour. Well, you never know, do you? Uh, Kelly keeps... Clawing her way back into it. As you said, when singles, you only need one and end, and That's doesn't matter it. how long it takes you. Great ball by Cass. Correct. It's also the time of the night where the pace might be starting to come off the green too, Kylie. Yes, it generally you do tend to find that around this time of day. The shadows coming over the green. Lights have been turned on. Yes, and that 
Bendigo chill has kicked in, or starting to. This if I do nick away for 30 seconds, it's only because I'm going to grab my jumper. Going to get your gloves and beanie. Don't need a gloves and beanie. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we had a under 18 match this week start around 6:30. Oof. Yeah, it was unavoidable. They had uh, we had record entries this year with the juniors, oh, which is fantastic, and um, just made uh, long days in a couple of events. Oh well, the youngins can handle it. They can handle it. Mm. To be young again. The yeah, adults, the not days. so much. Yeah, no. We don't need to be putting ourselves through that. Very tight heads, that's for sure. Yeah. He's played good weight again and good line. She's nearly around the Kelly Bowl. Wow. Oh, wow. No way. This is clinical. Oh. No touch today. That's very careless. It's not even trying. Never shows much emotion, does Cass. No, she's always been like that. Cool, calm, collected. Love the way she goes about it. It's good to have her in the uh, state team, that's for sure. Well, if you know um, Tony Sherwell well enough, his bugbear is that we got we lose too many Victorians to New South Wales and Queensland. Mm. We've finally got one back the other way. Yes, it was very, very handy. expect her to be given this a chance. Not far away. I'll give you the tip. She's got something. Oh, got the shot. Didn't kill though. So gives Cass a reasonably fair hit here. She's probably got three, four meters. She'd back her in every day of the week. Oh, I'd be reasonably confident. I'd already hand the mat over. <laughs> oh, she yeah. just got there. She just got there. On the Cass. She just stopped that run of a couple of consecutive ends. You know what she'll do with the mat here. 909. Here's a good question. I'm we'll going to let you out. answer it. Which is harder? Starting out as a new player and developing or giving the game away for a few years and then coming back to relearn everything? I've never really done the latter. Um, the biggest spell I've ever had is 18 months out of the game. I went overseas for 18 months in my mid-20s. Right. Um, I didn't think it was... That tricky? Way. She is. Well, that's an interesting question. Bit to unpack there. Yeah, I probably never really had a break from it. Just in winter, which is like a month. <laughs> Don't really do much in Victoria in the winter. No, be, I mean, and everyone's a bit different type of learner too. So in terms of that early starting component of it, um, you know, some people pick it up straight away. Some people are natural. Some people really have to grind it out for a couple of years and then it clicks for them. Correct. I think that's one of the best open-ended questions I've ever had. That's, yeah, that's deep. For this time of night, too. <laughs> oh, great shot, Kel. John Stevens. Well played. Just a fraction high. Around about so. Mm Forces cast a switch. Probably giving it a chance. Couple feet of weight. Just 
so as to get under her iron. She can work off that pink. Going for a bit of cover is kill. Yeah. And yeah, it's not a, like it. A smart move. Well, it makes Cass think about what weight to play with the next one because she doesn't want to turn her own out and go out of the head and give her a free hit at four then. Mm -hmm. So she has to play probably a bit more conservative. It's on a good trajectory. It's all on the speed now. Close. It's all on. She played this very well. On. Probably one out. <coughs> oh, JT just got his blanket. I got me hoodie. Didn't have to go in and get it myself either. Oh, silver service. Click the fingers, you know. Golly. What's the butler from Batman called? Alfred. That's the one. Mm, good bowl, Kelly. Shots, Kelly. Sh should be two. Mm. Very good. Nineteen eleven. So when's the falls being played? Thursday? Mm, Wednesday, Wednesday, I believe. What's today, Monday? It's been a big... You know, I've been here since the sad day before the, the city country. That's, I've been in Bendigo oh. since then. Yes, Gosh. yes. May as well just move here. My wife think I has at the moment. Yeah. The boy, Cal and the boys come down yesterday, which was great. I got to see him for a little bit. It was oh, fantastic. Lovely. How long is that from home? Two hours from Swan Hill to oh, Benigo. That's not too right. bad, yeah. Started by Kelp. Shot Kelly. Yeah, it's a pretty central location, Bendigo. It's a handy place to have things. Shout out to City of Greater Bendigo, who is our partner of this event. Went for a lovely walk this morning, except. Have you ever been to the big park in the middle of Bendigo? The yeah. one um, sort of near the Chinese... That's the one. Yeah, I know the one, yes. And did you get greeted by a bazillion bats? There was bats there one day oh, I was there. Oh, wow. It was amazing. <laughs> Good ball, Kelp. Her... her I mean, not that she hasn't played well this match, it was just probably how good Cass was, but her probably radar's been even a bit better the last few ends, and hence she's won, what we say, four, four out of the last six ends. Yeah, so she's probably adjusted better to the green changing. Saying that. Then Cass goes and does that. Mm. Second shot. Yeah. I've got two teammates on the green at the moment. Lorraine Smith is uh, oh, marking. Yes. Good pick up. Thanks. Are you going to the Australian Open this year? No, I am not. Got to work, funnily enough. So, <coughs> I still have a full time job. You wouldn't think it, but. <coughs> am I, I only one down, Diny next year, sorry. 
long as it's not the deadly C word. No, it's not. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, it does make it tough to try and commit to uh, playing a lot of bowls as you do and getting to the, as many events as you can as well. Yes. And fulfilling a full-time role. Yeah. Phys phys physio? Correct. Yeah, so, you know, very fortunate that I've got a great employer and... Understandable? Yes, very understandable. Um, Do you want to give him a plug? You may yeah, as well. Shout know. out to Optimum Physiotherapy. There you go. There we go, Madonga. If anyone needs any physio in Madonga, hit them up. Come do some Pilates with me. We have a bit of fun. I did. Uh, I actually did a fair bit of reformer Pilates leading into the Gold Coast Com Games. Well, obviously worked a treat. Haven't done it since. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really had the access to do it though. <laughs> I've moved around a bit since then. Yeah, probably not many reformers up in the uh, Murray Valley. No, not not, not <laughs> as many. No, come on. Don't, hey, we're not we're not that backwards. Come on, Kylie. <laughs> We better lower our voices a little bit. Having too much fun over here, Kylie. Oh, well. Good bowl here by Kelly. Good shot. Great bowls. Cass can play a similar bowl and sort of still get to him and land. I didn't think she'd play white because she probably doesn't want to take her own out. She wanted to go out on the last, and she's, she's in the not area. far away. Oh, second shot. Great That's ball. Good, good hit again. Yep. 19-12. Chipping away. Do you play many singles, JT? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Um, yeah obviously, uh, I've had disability singles this week. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, locally you play your state singles, champion champions, that sort of stuff. I loved it when I was a junior. Mm. Hated it for probably nearly 10 or 15 years as an adult. Yep. And fell back and loved it again the last... Eight years, Shot for whatever cut. reason. Interesting. Yeah. Used to be too critical of myself when I played singles during my 20s. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. Just used to hate it. I hate myself. Oh, it's a bit harsh. Yeah, don't know what it was. Yes. Carol, thanks for the update. Yes, the score next door. Uh, just give me two seconds. Die Washfold from Mornington Peninsula is leading 18-10 over Mary Trigar. I reckon you made a very good point there before about Kelly being the one that adjusted this pace change because it's mm. definitely dropped. It has. Probably a bit more like home. As in Canada or Clayton? Clayton. Okay. Yeah. I've never been to Canada, so I wouldn't know what that was like. Pretty sure slow greens over there. Mm. Cass not far away here. Probably right about Clayton. They tend to be a little on the slower side in down in Melbourne. Yes, I haven't played there for a few years, but played a tournament there once. I remember the the back bent was it the back bent? Oh, yeah, one of them was really slow. Mm. Mm. 
I've just done enough there. One, oh. but as Lorraine marks it. Yeah, fair call, Wardy. Singles are always hard. Most times yeah, it's only your club singles, your engine. If you get knocked out first round, you play one game for the season. That's go well. Aim, aim not to lose the first game, though. And Jay's got a question for you. Have the live stream events been determined for tomorrow yet? It's probably a question more for me. <laughs> um, trying to think what the plan is in the morning. I actually don't know yet. I'm normally looped in. I haven't been told. So uh, I'll see if I can find out while we're still streaming this match. There you go. hope you can live stream the Metro West mix pairs. So that's what you should, you should do. It's, it's what the people want. Well, Catherine, anyway. Maxine Benada, how you doing? <coughs> A drop. Good shot. Great bowl, Cass. One. So stops that again, that little mm. two-end run. Twenty to twelve. Leaving it pump ups. Great commentary, Kyle. You see how you didn't even want to come in here. It's amazing what you people will say about you when you give them a bit of. <laughs> no, we won't say that. There's a score chart on the screen there. Wow. Yep, perfect, thank you. <coughs> it's just that the lines have got narrow and narrow slowly, haven't they? They have. It's very fancy. It's a bit technical for lawn bowlers. <laughs> ah, all our viewers at home, all up with that. Oh, well done. So, I can say at this stage, it's looking like the first game in the morning will be the Ladies' Champion Champions final. Excellent. Which is great. Then we'll do the Men's Pairs final. And then we're probably going to have potentially the Ladies' Pairs final after that. Oh. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So that potentially impacts you, as you know. Does it? Well, you are in the pair semi-final. Yes. I'm you can resume sending it to you to Carl's. But directing my inquiry really loves to to you. Okay. Well, good, Jake. Well, as I said, I've given you a bit of intel. All subject to change. You just never know what might happen. Oh, great shot, Cass. Carolyn reckons she's never heard you talk so much. Oh, come on, Riley. What are you talking about, mate? You're getting all the love at the moment. Yeah, all the old biddies back <laughs> from the O&M. Shout out. Cass has got a couple great shots this end. Yes. Kelly doesn't look too far away. It's getting down now. It's just flopped out the other way. She probably, an, an inch more, she flops down and maybe gets shot. Mm. I do say it is a game of inches. She's like a robot, Cass. I've heard that before. Hmm. She's awfully close again, just quietly. Oh. Oh. I don't think she'd... I thought she'd nearly flop back the other way. She sort of screwed through. Mm. <coughs> just 
just got the uh, action shot of the lights there, Brad. Those trees look beautiful. Well, you're just playing around with things, are you, Brad? Art. Art, right, yeah, okay. Fantastic. If you say so. It is a very pleasant early evening. Brilliant camera work. Ah, that's what he was doing, you know. Kelly's going for some weight. It's very close. Jack will kill. Dead end. Good shot, Kelly. Well played. She's very good at those conversion shots. Played her a couple of times. Hey, Margie Beat. Val Dye is currently leading 19-10 over Mary Chagar on the rink next door. She's probably maintained that lead for a little while now. Mm, wonder how Mary's going physically. Big day for her. Three games today. Mm. What happens when you're so good? You know, yeah, you, you I know. You've got to double up, she's, she's you know. too clever. Consistent with their line. I reckon it's narrowed up since the pace mm. has come off it too. It's not as swoopy as what it was earlier in the day. Hundred percent. What are you having for dinner, Val? Got that yard, four feet. Looking close. Bit of touch. Shot. Probably. N oh, maybe. There you go. One still to Kelly. Tell you what, it is handy when you've got an ITO in your fours team. <laughs> why, why is that? <laughs> Well, you need to know who's got the shot. You reckon she's you a very good judge? In. Yes. You back her in? And any uh, disputes, straight to Lorraine. She'll sort it out. <laughs> so that's the only reason she's getting a game? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> she's not like she's a good bowler or anything. <laughs> I thought she might have stayed there and still backed herself to draw around that bowl of Kelly's and get to her closest, but she's changing. She doesn't like it. Both girls come down and have a bit of a look, sum up the scenario. It's what would you play in this situation if you're Cass? Mm. Let's pick the brains of Kylie Whitehead. Oh gosh, look out. There's not much up there. It's a good question. I would almost maybe play same hand, look to get to that pink. So maybe pump through her front one. So maybe a fraction firm it allow yeah. to hang up to the pink bowl? Yeah. yeah, she's got the back one in there now. So, Is there any fear of taking your own out? Probably, but yeah. YOLO. No guts, no glory. That's the one. 
And I mean, she's got a bit of wiggle room with the score, so. Yeah, no, like it. This is the intel we're looking for. I reckon you oh, called it. I've called it. You called it. And has she nailed she's it? She's nailed it, sorry. Quite a shot. Jeez, it's very rare that I actually <coughs> call a shot. Uh, Nostradamus, we're going to start calling you. <laughs> Maybe we'll say great minds think alike. I'd say Cass. That's a very good bowl's brain. Is Kelly trying to get it on the draw now on the forehand. It's pointed well. It's all on the speed now. It's not far away. Got it. Ooh. I'm not sure she. Probably didn't get it on the right angle. No. Need to be a fraction more this way. Which people can't see what I'm doing right now. Got a single. He's inside. waving his hands. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. It sounds like they're still enjoying themselves at least. Under cast still. So makes it twenty one. Do you know what that means? She needs four to win. Well, you can go out once you get to 21. That's very true. So there's always a risk component in the person beyond going, oh, if I do something wrong, I might... Lose the game. Mm. Saying that, no falls have been scored in this game so far. What have we got? Has anyone dropped any? Threes. Threes. Threes have been the most. Yes, yeah, so we've got a reasonable crowd here watching. Yes. Loyal supporters. Good to see. It's a great event, this. Oh, it's a great week. Now, what is it? How many weeks is it? Nearly three? And then you've got under 18s backing onto it. No, they've already oh, had in front of it. In front of it, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Mary over there. Holding three. Looks like it. Correct. Jeez, be handy if she could get that. Showing your bias there? Just a little bit. That's all right. You're allowed. <laughs> I was uh, hoping the Murray Malley guys won the pairs in the last round on the rink next door. Well, did they get the job done? No. Unfortunately. Oh, well, I always say they made it here. That's always a big enough challenge oh, in itself. Absolutely. Well, our region's a bit different to your region. You have no playing areas in your region. You just win your region event and you're done. Where we have to win our playing area first, then our region, as Cass just trials a Jack Brantley. Oh, great shot, Cass. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. You're probably one of the... Re there's not many regions that just play at region level first. Oh. All five metro ones do. Havens and Murray. Geelong. That might be it. Don't quote me. I'm sure people listening at home will probably back me up if there's a couple other regions that just play at region level. So how many mini regions in the region? We have four playing areas. Good ball by Kelly. Mm. So we have oh. four, so we have Northern District playing area, Tyrrell playing area, Murray Valley and Sunraysia. Oh. <laughs> Before your time in the ovens of Murray. Or I was alive. Oh, uh, no, you're probably alive. But uh, ovens of Murray West, ovens of Murray East and ovens of Murray Central used to be. Uh, makes sense. You, we are quite a big, big region. Go. Ballarat Highlands for first time. Oh, so they just played straight at region level. Get there you go. Cool. Region level. There you go. Perfect. Thanks, Morty. Is one better than the other? No, not at all. Okay. They're just probably depending on the size of your region and tyranny distance. 
an example, mm. Sunraysia in our region mm. is at least two and a half hours from Murray Valley, Swan Hill. Oh. So Mildura is that far away, so yeah. it's very hard. That's understandable. Tess is awfully close Jeez. again. She's she awfully that close again. Oh. She put her hand up like it was a bad bowl, but I'd argue it was actually pretty close to being a really good bowl anyway. Weight was really good. Yeah, she she actually clears that bowl. She nearly she gets, to the, she gets to the pink and lays it out, so. Yep. If you were looking at this angle, you'd actually think there'd be three, but uh, Lorraine did put up two paddles. Kelly's having a run. Has to be doing something similar. She can turn her own over. Mm. She can get another one in there. There's nothing oh, actually she behind, so she doesn't behind. have to protect. What's she done? She's in the area again. Awfully close to doing what I said. Wow. Oh, what a shot. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you hear what Kel said then? No. You see, she's just heard the cast said you're absolutely taking the piss. Ah. Yeah. P1 double five. Yeah. That's a fantastic bowl. That was a great bowl. Can we say that on the commentary? We just did. You said it. Yeah, well, I think I was going to get in trouble with me anyway. I think... I, th I think she will arrive. Do you reckon? Oh, she cut one out. <laughs> Fantastic end by Cass Put Miller. Put the pressure right on. 24-12. I'm pr uh, anticipating the paddles being through. Jeez, I might have went early. Oh. Getting the tape out. Hold your horses, Josh. Looked it from that angle, I thought. Did. Oh, I knew what I was talking about. Never in doubt. Twenty-four, twelve. Oh, yeah. Okay, got a question for you. I think I know what's coming, but carry on. What's the w furthest behind you've been when you've come back and won? Ooh. That's a good question. I feel like one time was maybe like 20 to 5. Yeah. Good comeback. Very good comeback. And that was what we were talking about. The length change. Yep. And one. what was the context? Was it club singles game? State singles? Under 25 singles. Yeah. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Had to reach back in the archives for that one. Fair starter from Cass. Mm. When you need one, it's just That's a handy good. one to get. Yeah. Do you ever get that when people say, oh, you get to 24 and then you can't get the last shot? So it actually happened to me last week. Oh. In the uh, quarterfinal disability singles, it's first to 21. I got to 20 and for some reason I, I don't know, got stiff. Couldn't, just, just couldn't finish. No. And anyway, I yeah. ended up winning 21-19. Wow. Yeah, it got a little nervy. It's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. The psychology of the sport. It's very rare that has happened to me, but that's the first time in a long time. Maybe it's an age thing, JT. I am getting old, there's no doubt about it. 
the, I've got to give credit to young DJ who I played against. He played exceptionally well. Well, that's the other thing, isn't it? You've got to take your opponent into account. They're not going to give up. At school next door, Di from Mornington Peninsula, hold wash, yeah, hold wash, is 19, leading Mary Trigar from Owens and Murray, 14. So the gap is closed, it's only five the difference. Great bowl, Kelly. Cass on a very good trajectory here. Awfully close to turning her own. And she's got shot. Got shot. Well played. She has played exceptionally well this match. It's been almost clinical. Yes, I agree. Yes. No, it's a big word with this time and night. Must judge it from up there. Yeah. <laughs> I started asking you silly questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least the game's played in good spirits. Yes, yes it is. Great lovely girls. Is Cass in a s Australian squad? She's, She's in the emerging. Emerging. So the next mm. next one down. She keeps flying like this. Yeah. I think they've got a, an emerging or a pathways event coming up. Yeah, there is. It's uh is it July? June? July? Mm, somewhere around there. Emerging there we go. Uh, oh, uh, look. Hello, Bolivia. B always tunes in and watches her sister. As she should. Bit of family love. And, uh, evening, Emma Simmons. Hey, M Dog. From the Murray Mallee. From the Murray all the way in Mildura. She doesn't need shot. No. It's about she how she protects mm. the shot or covering. Maybe get back to those pinks. Could do. Or she might be playing something to make it harder for her even to get shot. Change it up. Just to be. It's not a bad home. Alright. Kelly needs a good one. Her fate is in her hands. It's probably a good place to be, really. You wouldn't want it in anyone else's hands. Close. Got something. All right, good well, shot. another end. Well playing under pressure. Very good. Score next door is now 20 to 14 in favour of Dai from Mornington Peninsula. You playing in anything else this week, JT? No, and I'm actually wrapped about that, Kylie. Oh, fair enough. Normally, I'd love to be here in multiple events, but uh, the fact that I played Saturday through till yesterday, um, yeah, let's just say I'm, I'm done. You're done. I'm you're, done. You're a cooked chook. That's it. The camaraderie plus composure from both ladies is fantastic. Totally agree, Catherine. Uh, Couldn't have said it better myself. Good spirit and just pressure balls.
Cass looks like she's got a good start up. Fraction quick, but roundabouts. You know, it annoys me when people say it, but I'm going to say it. Bowles is the real winner. <laughs> right out, Kylie. <laughs> Cliche for days. Yeah. Emma wants to know when you're making a trip to Mildura. Oh, that's a good question. I'll get back to you. <laughs> All right, that'll be shot. <laughs> Kelly, not far away either. Just a bit over. Oh, please. How far behind Jack is it, please? The Jack is 14 inches. Okay, thank you. Oh, 14 inches. Do you know what that is in centimetres? No. I'm going to guess 47. No. Oh. I was going to say on. 35. 14 inches. Well, subway is... I always go through subways. Six inch. Then you've got a foot long, yeah. which is like 30 centimetres. Foot long then would be 12 one inch, inches. One inch is two and a half centimetres. No, that's just confused me now. We're looking at about 35 centimetres. Yeah. Oh, nailed it. Fair correction here from Kelly. Just going to run through again. I thought that was better weight. I thought that was stopping. <laughs> Who taught you the subway thing? <laughs> Don't actually remember, Lisa. I think it's a 90s kids thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, she's probably down at the moment, too. Does she run at it and try and get both? It would be interesting, yeah. Probably on this, you'd want to you'd say the go big or draw. It's, mm. Can one of Cass's bowls lock under that closest yeah. pink and then hang around, and it's not worth it? Then I'd probably go the draw. About to find out. I'm back at you, I'll have a crack at it. No, oh, I was wrong. She's pointed all right. Get her front one. And there we have well it. Done. Great game. Congratulations, Cass Millerick, our winner this evening. 25 to 12 over Kelly McKeeran from Sandbelt. That concludes our day of streaming. Um, just for those obviously at at uh, home. There is another match going. Die Hole Wash is currently leading 2015 from Mornington Peninsula over Mary Tregar, who is 15. Um, go to Bowls Link, check out all the results. Um, thank you for everyone for joining us throughout the day. We've had three great matches. Thank you, Kylie. Wasn't that daunting, was it? No, actually. It's pretty crazy once you get settled in, wasn't it? Correct. Thank you for coming thank and jumping on. Me. No, it's awesome. And uh, thank you, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, fam. <laughs>